What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I want to show you how to create new windows with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, in the last video we looked at message boxes. In this video, I want to show you how to create new windows in your program. You know, up until now we've just basically had one big window. We've had message boxes and little things like that. But as, as far as like creating a whole new window, uh, we haven't looked at that yet and likely you're going to need to do that in some point in your careers but before we get started if you like this video and want to see more like it be sure to smash the like button below subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out codemy.com where i have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code use coupon code youtube to get 22 dollars off membership that's all my courses videos and books for one time fee of just 27 dollars, which is insanely cheap okay so i created a new file called base.py and it just has the same you know starter text starter code that we've used throughout this series. And so what we want to do here is just create a new window. So how do we do that? Well, you notice up until now we've been using this root window. It just shows one big window on the screen and uh, that's it. So, you know, likely you're going to want to add a different type of window or a different window. Uh, if you click a button, if you do a drop down thing, whatever, how do you do that? Well, you start just by defining it. I'm going to call it top. And set that equal to top level and it's just this top level function so if we save this and run it we get right off the bat let me pull this over this is our main window there's nothing in it and then also this second window and you, you we can tell the difference because the icon is different up here right this is just the kinter default icon whereas this one has our little codemy icon right so okay that's not that great Come back and close this. Now, anytime you want to do something in here, you just do it inside, you just do it after this. So, you know, if we wanted a label, uh, let's just call this label equals label. Now, normally we would put this in root, right? Well, now we have this top, we can put it in. So we can designate different windows that way. And we can set the text equal to hello world, whatever. And then let's just pack this on the screen. So let's run this real quick. Head back over here and run it. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> Typo already. There we go. Lowercase t. I do that a lot, I think. Seems like. It's at least the second time in this series I've done that. Okay, so now we have our main thing and then our second window. And the second window says hello world. So you can, you can put anything in there you want. Uh, for instance, we could put an image in there. Remember a few videos ago, we used this image.tk thing. So we could go, let's get rid of this. And let's just say my underscore image, set that equal to image tk dot photo image. Oops. And then image dot open and then call the image. Now I think we had, we had a directory called images that we set up and inside of there I had this aspen.png picture. So we can do that and then create, let's create a my underscore label el and just set this equal to a label. We want this to be in top and we want the image to equal my image. And we need to pack this on the screen Okay, so that should work. So if we save this and run it real quick, boom, boom, we get our first normal window with nothing in it. And then we have this second window with uh, me and Aspen doing a little yawning here. So you notice it says learn to code at codemy.com, which is the same title as this one. We can change that too. It's pretty simple. Uh, in fact, we could just copy these two things for the title and the icon. And I'm just going to put this right under here. But instead of root here, obviously we want top. Same thing here. Top. So if we save this, come back over here, run it again. We get our main window. And we get our second window and it has the icon and it says learn to code to code me, which is what it said before. So let's change that real quick. To uh, what we want. My second window. All right, very creative. <laughs> All right, so now, now we get this my second window, 
right? Okay, so that's kind of cool, I guess, but chances are you don't want all these windows just fly open every time you open your program. You want it to only open if you click a button or do a drop down or click a link or do something. You want to be able to control when they appear, right? So how do we do that? Well, let's create a button. I'm going to call it button. And let's call it button. We want this in root. We want the text to say open second window. And then we want the command to be what? Open. Okay, so now we need an open function method, whatever you want to call them. Open, find open. Da -da, bump, bump. Now inside of here is where we want all this stuff, right? So now we tab all this stuff over. Oops. There we go. That seems like it should work, right? So it actually sort of will and sort of won't, and I'll show you just now. What I'm talking about. So if we save this, come back over here and run it again. Oh, you know what? Once again, forgot to pack the button. <laughs> Dot pack. It's uh, we're having a day here in Vegas. It's cloudy. It's kind of cooler than normal. My brain is just not woken up yet today. So save this. Now we'll run it. Okay. So we get this main window. It has a button. I misspelled window. <laughs> All right, so we click this. Now the second window opens, but check this out. The image didn't load. What's going on here? Well, what actually happened here is pull up our code right here. We're calling this my IMG variable and we're setting it equal to this image. But this is a local variable, right? We need this to be a global variable because for some reason, when you're in a function like this with a second window, Python sees this. Uh, local variable and it thinks it's garbage. It gets swept up in the Python garbage collection and it doesn't get displayed. So all we need to do is call global for my image. And now this should work. If we save this, run it again. We get this guy. If we click it, boom, sure enough, it opens. Very cool. And it's just one of those weird things. I'm not even exactly sure why the mechanics of why it does that. It just, it, it just does. Notice when we did this earlier, we had all of this stuff outside of this function. It worked just fine because it's in the root. It's in the main window. So the local variable works in the main window. It just doesn't work in the next one that you open this um, top level window. All right. So we can play around with this some more. We can go button two equals button and we want this to be in top and let's go text equals close window. How do we do that? Well, we want the command to equal top dot destroy. I think we looked at destroy a few videos ago. That's how you can close things. We just have to make sure and designate that we want to destroy top, not root. So if we save this, come back over here and run it. Oops. Drag this over. All right. So open second window. Ah, is that the third time I forgot to pack the button? Uh, all right, dot pack. I'm telling you, it's one of those days here in Vegas, cloudy Vegas today. All right, so now we have open second window. When we do that, we get the second window. It says my second window has the icon, has our image, has this button. We close it, boom, it closes. We can open it again. There it is again. We can close it. We can open it. <laughs> we can close it and on and on. And there we go. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. You know, you don't want to run two versions of this TK function at the same time. Instead, you want to call this top level. It's just what tkinter calls the a second window that you want to open and pretty straightforward. The only thing to really worry about is this global thing. If you try something inside of here and it doesn't work, try adding whatever you're trying to do as a global variable that'll likely fix it. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty simple. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off memberships. They pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.